Hello and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip Videos. In this video, I'm going to give you some pointers on how to make function blocks and how to use them. First of all, function blocks are found down here under the programming section. When you create a new function block, you can use ladder or structured text to write them. I've written one of each type here. This one's structured text and this one is in ladder. Either one can be used in the ladder or structure text program. So up here I have an example of uh, ladder and some inline structure text and I've used both of the uh, function blocks that I've declared. There is a couple of points that you need to know. If you are going to use your function block in ladder, you need at least one digital input and one digital output. If you don't do that, you will get this type of problem. And if I type in power, it doesn't show up. You can't find it. As you can see down here where it says power1, power, the other function block, does not show up. That is because power one, the other function block, does not have a digital input and a digital output. And we'll get rid of that. Uh, a couple of things I've tested. Uh, I created my input. I said it was dummy. I had an output called done. I don't actually use them uh, anywhere in the function block, but I did have to have them. Uh, so the next piece that you need to know is because they're not used, they don't actually enable a block like all the built-in function blocks. The This input in the top left corner normally enables the function block. If you want it to enable what's happening in the function block, you would have to write code to do that. And the done, of course, is a dummy also and uh, you would also have to write code to make that one work if you wanted the function block to work like all the built-in function blocks. If you were going to use the function block in structured text, a couple of things you might you need to know. First of all, you have to declare unlike in ladder where you give you call it by its name, in structured text you call it by its variable name. So the first thing you have to do is uh, create, create some uh, instance name like here. You create an instance name and you tell it the function block name as data type. Now when you write your structured text you call it by its instance name <laughs> instead of the function block name. The next trick you need to know is all the variables are listed this way. All the inputs, like voltage and current, are pretty normal. The, the colon equals and then whatever your variable or constant is. The output's a bit trickier. If you have outputs, the way you assign them is equal greater than sign. And you'll notice it's kind of backwards in this case. Uh, I'm assigning VA to VA2 all the other ones that actually goes in the other direction. Uh, and that's probably why the greater than sign is there. It's showing you that it's going this from here to there. So my output called VA is going to my variable called VA2. Hope that helps. 